good morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. Okay. I'm having a hard time getting going this morning. Both Tennessee Jim and military modeler Paul made the express the concern that perhaps I should have bent the little tiny radius in that photo etch first before I bent all the others, the other angles. And looking at it now this morning, I'm just wondering how am I going to go about this? Well, first of all, I've got to select a, a steel dowel the right diameter or as close as possible to, to, to this part. And, uh, yeah, and then we're just going to have to, I, I've, I've kind of got an idea in my head of how I'm going to go about it, but looking at it now, I think it probably would have been easier to have done the bend first. I don't know. It could be that if I did the bend first, I might have ended up with other little problems. This is a very difficult piece of photo etch. Uh, I don't think it's the most difficult one that I've ever had because I am sort of getting it. I think the most difficult ones I ever had were very, very tiny little hooks way back in the Bismarck belt. And it, there was a little hook that had to go on the, on, onto a crane for the, to lift the aircraft. And, uh, I, they were, they were just so small, I just couldn't get them. Uh, I was able to nip them off of the sheet, off of the photo as sheet, but then I couldn't manipulate them. I couldn't glue them in place, and I, I kept dropping them, and I, it seems to me that I ended up not putting them on. <laughs> and at this point, nobody knows anyway. I mean, you, you sure can't see it from here, can you? Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, let's, let's uh, recompose here and, and get going. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a nice day. I'm probably going to quit about mid-morning and go to uh, the Krusty Bun Bakery. And uh, now, now, I talked to somebody the other day who had actually been in there. And they said two things. First of all, they're, they, it's, a, it's a cafe, and they felt that the coffee was not quite as good as Tim Hortons. <laughs> and they were pricey. Now, I'm not worried about the coffee because I, I drink coffee at home usually. The last time I went out for coffee was with uh, Chris, Atacoke and Chris at McDonald's. And I was trying to remember when, when did, was the last time I did it before that. And, and I would guess about four or five years. <laughs> yeah, I just don't go out for coffee. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, you know, uh, now that I think about it, uh, Gabe, you know, uh, our, our friend Gabe, who did, did the painting demonstrations here at the model table, uh, he sent me an email, and, and I have not responded to that now that I think about it, uh, wondering if we could meet sometime. And, uh, and I've just let it slide. So, you know, that might, might be kind of a nice little trip. Maybe he might be able to bring along some show and tell stuff or something. I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll just see how it goes. Uh, once again, I'm starting to ramble and think out loud here. I think we should re recompose and uh, measure our cylinder and try and find a dowel. Enough talk. Let's have some action. Okay, we don't need to know what the diameter is of this cylinder. I've, I've got it cleaned up about as reasonably good as I can do here. In other words, I, I've scraped off the, the seams and what have you. And, uh, yeah, we, we don't need to know what the diameter is. But in case somebody's wondering, it's about three and a half millimeters. Okay, so what we're going to need to do now is try and find a dowel that is a... Okay, this one is 
almost exactly the right size. It's a little a little bit on the small side. This one here would be a little bit on the on the big side. But I think that we might be better off using the larger one. Now I I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It's it's only slightly too big. Um Well, very, very slightly. Um, I think I think it's pretty close. Yeah, I, I think it's I think it's really close. Depending on how you measure this plastic cylinder, it's it's not perfectly round. It looks like it is, but it's not. Um, okay, I think we I think we've got our our dowel here, and I'm going to fasten this in a clamp or a vise maybe and uh, I've got an idea I, it's easier to show you than to try and explain it so uh, yeah scared to come in as you were yesterday. No. Now chew it. You didn't even chew it. I saw a few little bites and then then you just swallowed it whole. More or less. <laughs> well, let's go talk to Max. Yeah. Oh, it's lovely right now, but it used to be hot and muggy this afternoon. Yeah, I saw there was a uh, heat warning on the uh, weather. Okay. Oh, I'd be tempted to go now. The air is nice. I thought I'd go about. Still a little bit cool. I thought I'd go about 10:30 after the rush hour is over, and yeah. I'm going to go to the uh, crusty bun. Oh, nice. Very good to go. Check out some groceries at Superstore at 11. Well, we'll probably be converging on our parking spots about the same time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, you know, I was uh, uh, curious as to whether an animal had, you know, come onto the onto yeah. the steps here. So I, I checked my uh, surveillance system yeah. and every time there was movement I, I looked to see what it was and it wasn't very often. Uh, you know on, on the uh, camera that's uh, right here. Yeah this, this camera right here. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, there was a squirrel twice. Now would you think a squirrel? Here? No it, it came across from like from under my car I guess and it and it and it went across like this and yeah. No. The squirrel wouldn't do it unless it was the gasoline. Well, I, I don't know, maybe. Yeah. yeah. There was just an unusual smell that she wasn't to, uh, couldn't cope with. Yeah. That was all, just a squirrel twice. Yeah, a squirrel. Yeah. The day before there'd been a cat. But, uh, the black and white one? Sort of a gray. Sort of a gray cat. Okay, are we done here, Missy? Are we all done here? Okay, we're all done. I'm trying to smell what Uncle Ron had for breakfast. <laughs> no, no breakfast today. I'm going to try and be good again. <laughs> it never works. Well, sometimes it works, but uh, sometimes it Okay, okay, all right. Yep, Missy the dog, Missy the dog. 
Okay. I think I may have mentioned that be this before, but this this vice is very crudely made, and. Uh, The idea of it is good, but the precision is just terrible. Okay, now, try and get this horizontal like this. Okay, the ang your, your angle is probably not too good, so uh, I'll, I'll probably be sticking on the macro lens in a minute. Now, my thinking is, can, can you see that? Now, it's kind of kind of dark. Let's see if I can angle the camera just a little bit differently here. Well, I can't pull it back too much or it's going to fall on the floor. Okay, I'm just going to recompose here a bit. move in a little bit here if we can. Now, this is the plan. Okay, so we've got to bend the arc, or arch, or whatever you want to call it, up. And, uh, I'm just, okay, I, I don't know if you can see it or not. Okay, you know what, I'm going to put the macro lens on and uh, maybe recompose again. So that you can see the little bending bending lines and, and everything uh, that we have to contend with. The, the <laughs> This, this is going to be hard, but I can see where, if I'm careful, we can actually do it. Okay, I'm going to use my hobby knife here as a pointer. Now, trying not to knock this off of there, there's a folding line right here, and there's a folding line right here. And, and the same on the, on the one on the back here. A little harder to see, but they're there. Now, what we have to do <clears throat> is when when this piece gets bent over so that it is 180 degrees around here the, the it has to fold at this line and and it'll be almost at right angles the, 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 this part that has the legs and the and the upright piece right here like the, on the on the top here there's supposed to be a, a little table See if I can find it here. I'm not going to try and set it in place, but 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 this this table is supposed to fit on there and uh, be glued on there. Probably use <clears throat> should probably use uh, uh, CA glue. Don't know what else I could use. Uh, anyway, the my my thinking now is if I could somehow bring something in here and push down on both sides at the same time this might be easier to do off camera okay you can sort of see what I'm doing here okay that's that's the front one now I'll try and do the back one first we'll try and get it so that the that the uh, pin here or the dowel rather is in the center of the part that I'm trying to bend. Okay. Now I can I can only go so far with this, and then I'm going to have to uh, bend the bend at the folding lines so that it sort of straightens out. Come on. 
Okay. Now, how am I going to grab hold of this and bend it at the folding lines? Now, I'm, I might have to do this off camera, folks. As much as I enjoy trying to show you every little detail here. Okay, I, I'm just going to take this off camera and, and bend it bend it at the folding lines. Earlier this morning, we did have a very smoky sunrise. It was almost eerie. Well, it was fiery. It looked more like a sunset. <laughs> uh, anyway, it didn't stop our friends Don and Bridget. They came by pretty much on time. Okay, now this part may have sort of lost its equilibrium and it might not want to stay balanced on there like it did before. Okay. But it kind of is. Okay, that that's good. Now, we got to try and go the rest of the way now. Maybe I'll do the front one first. You know what, I should I should put on my other glasses here. I was thinking of making a little, uh, you might call it a former, out, out of wood. It would sort of slip over the dowel and press this into shape. Yep. Maybe I'll do the back one first. Yeah, yeah, coming at it from the from the back side uh, seems to work better. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll I'll do them both from the back side if you know what I mean. Come on, okay, put this on here. Okay, now I'll do the other one. I, this this whole thing has been turned around now. Yeah, Paul and Jim, you are probably correct. It would have been easier to have done this. But we are getting it. We are getting it. I think that maybe after, I don't want to squeeze too hard here and end up... Yeah, yeah I think maybe once I get that plastic part glued in there, then we can, oh, I'm almost dropping it again. I'm just, I'm just trying to get it just a tiny bit better. Just a tiny bit more here. There. Okay, let's let's see now what will happen when we glue this this part into place here. You know how how far off is it going to be? Oh, okay, I know it's not perfectly straight by any means, and uh, I know that that's not where that little plastic part goes. However, there's something we have to do before we glue the plastic part in place. So let me stop this here. Okay, now this 
bottom cross piece right here has to be glued onto this leg or rather soldered onto this leg and and this one on onto this leg uh, and uh, yeah we, we can't we can't try to do that when the plastic part is in there because the the heat will tra will transfer along here and it will melt our plastic so uh, I, I think what I'm going to have to do here is sort of kind of eyeball where where this thing goes so let me I hope I'm keeping it in your field of view here if I put it like this can you can you see it? Yeah, you should be able to see it there. Okay, just sort of position this in exactly the right place, or eyeball it in the right place, and 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 solder this one, and also the the one on the bottom. At, at least that's the plan right now. But uh, it's five minutes after ten. I think maybe what I should do is uh, jump on the rebel and uh, go to the crusty bun. Well, it's nice and cool, because it's supposed to get really hot today. Okay, hey, we're, we're getting there, folks. Okay, we are back. Now, I did video the ride. All right. They, they look really good. They look like the kind of thing that I really like. Now, as I've said already, uh, it, it, it's kind of pricey. Um, but hey, okay. Uh, if you, if you want to see the ride, uh, like I say, I did, I did video it. So uh, it'll be probably posted this evening. It'll probably be called... Honda Rebel 1100 DCT Winnipeg Part 81. So look for Part 81 and you'll see the ride to the Krusty Bun Bakery. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, get ourselves back to this. Okay, let's see if we can get this now so that you can see all of the angles at the same time um, so what I want to do is I, I realize that it's not perfectly you might say square but what I want to do is try and attach this this one right here to this one right here and have it the same distance down from this corner as this one that's already fastened on is from this corner and eyeballing it straight down, it, it looks to me like it is it is pretty close here. If I could just squeeze this together just a little bit. It is so fragile, folks. It is so fragile. And this, this one here should go down. I want it so that it stays there all by itself. Otherwise, when the solder cools, it's going to cool in the wrong place. Now, that actually doesn't look too too bad. I think this is close enough together that, that the solder will fill the gap. Maybe we'll put the macro lens on. And, uh, yeah, I, I, th I think I pretty much got it. And we and we can get we can skew it, you know, the the other directions after the solder connection is made. At least that's the plan. Okay, let's get the macro lens on. Okay, I think that's still right.
I should have cleaned the tip. Got a little bit of a See if I can get that off of there. There. I think that's a good uh, connection. Okay, I'm going to flip it over and do the uh, the other one uh, the same way. Don't know if I'll video it or not. Maybe I will. Okay, this end might take a little bit more skewing, but I think that I've got the distance from this corner to here and from this corner to here pretty much the same. And I was realizing afterwards I should have done both both ends because this this end here yes it's it's connected but just barely connected so let's just uh, see if we can't just do both of them Get it to stick on there. Come on. It doesn't want to break off, sort of hanging on. There. Okay, now I'll get the other one. Come on. Okay, we got it. Now, okay, we'll do this one first. Hopefully that went around. And I think we went around. Do the underneath there. How does that look? This, this one here doesn't look like it's a very good No, yeah, I guess it is. And uh, did we get any on the inside of that? This one right here, though, it 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 almost looks like uh, it's all on the other side. I'm gonna just see if I can't just get it on the inside. No, I don't want a big glob of this stuff going on either. It's not exactly where I wanted it. It's uh try and get it over onto the inside there like that. Now it should flow down all being well. Okay, that's a strong connection even though it doesn't look very good. Maybe I can Gently sand this off here. Okay, quit poking at it. I'm gonna flip it over and and just do the uh, the the other side where I didn't do. Okay, so here's what's happened. I had to re-solder everything. Um, that solder paste it just was not working out. So what I did was I used some some liquid flux. On, on the end of uh, Gabe's swab here. So let me turn this off. And uh, I put I put the uh, the uh, or I guess it's more of, it's more of a paste. It's it's plumbers it's plumbers uh, flux is what it is. Take we put on copper pipes, and and uh, I put it on the joints, and then I applied some solder to the tip uh, of the of the uh, soldering iron. 
and I did it that way, and I and it wicked it wicked into place. It's m a much stronger joint. It, it's a little bit clunky, but at least I know now when I start bending everything into sh into shape here, it it's it's not going to break, or at least it shouldn't. Um, yeah. Those are good buns, very good. Nice flavor. Yeah, nice flavor. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. And <laughs> all being well, we're gonna see you tomorrow.